What is happening, loud and proud crowd? I hope you guys are doing absolutely fantastic. It is another scorching 100 degree day. Some people are like, oh, it's hotter where I live. For me, 100 degrees is too hot. And uh, I feel like the last like few summers, it's gotten hotter and hotter where I've just grown to hate heat more and more and more, one of the two. Now, hopefully you guys are having an amazing day though. A couple of things, the dually, it finally has tint. Okay, everybody's been raving in the comments, harassing me on YouTube and Instagram and Snapchat. Dude, tint the truck, tint the truck. I'm not entering the giveaway because you don't have tint. Like just a bunch of crazy, crazy craziness. Like I didn't know people would get so worked up over tint. Like I'm like, oh dang, like this is extreme. This is extreme chaos over a tint job. So I'm like, I called our local tint shop, which I was planning on doing it the entire time. It's just People want everything done in one video so many times and it's like, it's it takes time. I've been doing so much every single day that it's insane lately, you guys have no idea. But I've got a lot of stuff going on. So it's all just, it's happening just one day at a time. Stuff's gotta get done. Sometimes more than one thing each day, but it's just, there's a lot other stuff going on. A lot of other stuff going on that you guys don't see me doing every night. Like. Last night I was emailing customers back and forth, one, two in the morning. Hey, just want to confirm orders and you know confirm your shipping address, like stuff like that. Like, there's a lot more going on that you don't see. So all that aside, we got some other things done on the dually. A couple other things. We did door clips. I put all new door clips in it. I took off the door panels real quick. I didn't film it because the camera would have overheated and shut down. It is. I'm literally standing here. Look at my hairline. I'm getting sweaty just standing here. It's really, really, really muggy out here. But So I took off the door panels and I had bought all new Chrysler OEM door clips from like AutoZone. Um, and they had a, a bunch of them there. So I bought new door clips and I did both the doors. So now you don't have any loose door panels like they used to be pretty much the entire time I've owned it. Um, just thought it was one nice little thing that somebody might appreciate if they win the truck which please pick the black truck guys. I love this dually, but if you choose the truck, I, I mean, I'll sign it over, but it's gonna break my heart a little bit. Door panel. I mean, it's, it's not going anywhere now. It, I mean, these door panels, there used to be like a one inch gap here because they were just like hanging off the truck. So that's all good to go. But look how dark it is in this cab, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'll show you the inside first. There's no bubbles in the tent. This tent shop, it was not cheap tent. Oh my gosh, it was not cheap. Hundreds of dollars. I mean, it was like 300 bucks, but everybody was giving me such a hard time about it. I'm like, okay, I was gonna do this like in a few days from now, but I'm like, these people are not, not being patient with me, so I'm just gonna get it done today. You know, so I went and got it done. But it looks really good. They did a really good job. Okay, I'll show you guys. In three, two, one. Wow. Look at that. Let me show you exactly, like explain, I guess, um, the tint that I went with. The back glass is a solid five. The two back um, windows are a solid 5%. And then I think it's 15 here and then 30 on the entire windshield is what I did. I mean, I'm standing right in front of the bumper and you cannot see the steering wheel in the truck. Now, of course, if it doesn't apply to your state and it's not legal in your state and you win the truck, that is, that's on you whether or not you want to take it off, you want to leave it, you want to take a chance, that's totally, that's up to you. Okay, I just did the tent according to what everybody was saying they wanted done. They're just like, go dark, go dark, go dark. And this is what the guy is like, he's like, well, he's like, if you want to go dark, but you don't want to be, you know, like way too dark, he's like, do, he's like, I would not do 5% all the way around. Like in terms of, obviously he's not going to 5% the windshield, but he's like, I wouldn't even do 5% on the sides. Um, he's like, the most I would do is 5% on the back three, so the two small and the big uh, rear glass. He's like, and then at the most, 15 on the drivers. He's like, I wouldn't do anything darker, you know. Um, he's, like, he's like, it's already going to be extremely dark but he's like it's not legal in every state but he's like um that's up to you if you want to do it i'm like yep just go for it so but from the inside of the truck it's not terrible like you can see out totally fine obviously like from the inside it's awesome you know what i mean you can see the difference in darkness from the 30 to the 15 and then you can see the difference from the 15 to the 5. Okay. Like from the inside, it does not look dark. 
That's when you go out, you can't see in. Like, even if you get like, yeah, I mean, you like it's like a, it's painted, man. <laughs> it's some dark tint, that's for sure. Um, and then he did say though, he said that you don't want to roll down the windows. He said for at least a full week, I would not roll down the windows. So by the time somebody actually comes and get the truck, gets the truck, if they choose this one or that one, you know, whichever one you want, um, it, it'll be fine by then. He's like, it's just, I wouldn't roll down the windows for at least a full week of letting it sit out in the sun. We got the big stinky. We haven't really done much looking around big stinky lately, guys. This is still a beautiful truck too. I haven't even driven it much. I parked it back here, but beautiful, beautiful truck. I gotta get some stuff out of here. I got some little stuff in here because I was daily driving it for just a couple weeks. Um, beautiful truck, beautiful truck. Couldn't be more blessed to be able to own two of these mm -hmm. trucks. And yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And then there's the rear glass I can show you, I guess. I mean, you can't see in there, even if you wanted to. You cannot see in the rear glass at all. The tent's done. Man, it is hot. I'm about to faint. Not even kidding. And if you're wondering, yes, I own a handful of these shirts that I just made up the other day. Um, these aren't for sale, but I do have a handful of them in case you're wondering why I wore the same same style shirt like three days in a row. By the time you guys see this video, it'll be over in like, I wanna say 55-ish hours, and then it's over, and then it's done. I mean, just to be clear, let me restate this again. The giveaway, okay, because I had a guy, this is actually a very important question, very important comment. He said, now you say that every $20 is an entry, um, however, I spent $20, more than $20, back in April. He said, so I'm entered, right? I said, no. When a giveaway starts, okay, when a giveaway starts, and there's a start date, an official legal start date, and a legal end date, only entries obtained or earnings, you know, earned through that period of time, or orders placed within that period of time, count towards the giveaway you know what i'm saying so for example for the you know for let's say a future giveaway if we do another giveaway here it's not going to be like everybody who entered this giveaway is going to be automatically entered into the next giveaway you know what i'm saying because then it's like then what's the point of anybody ever entering ever again you know what i'm saying like it would it would just it would just never happen you know what i'm saying if every time you entered months and months ago we'd count for the next one so just to sum it up just to be clear only orders placed between june 1st at midnight in Ju uh, July 2nd at midnight, only all the orders placed in between that time frame, every $20 you spent gets you another entry, of course, but only orders placed between that time frame count towards the 12 app giveaway. So just to clear that up, those are the rules, those are the parameters, in case, like, cause we are, it's almost done. Like, like I said, a little bit more than 48 hours, but not quite like 55-ish hours. Um, by time it's over, it's over, and I just don't want you guys to think like, some people like, oh, like think they're entered because they spent money months and months and months ago um, before the giveaway was even really a thing and then think that they're entered and then they miss out on their opportunity to enter because they thought that they were entered but they weren't you know what I'm saying so yeah that's it it's just it's it's simple it's that simple giveaways almost over let me know what you guys think of the tent I know you guys have been driving me nuts about the tent it's done so truck looks a lot better no more fishbowl it's dark and big stinky's already got tint on it not the same exact tint but it's it's already tinted every twenty dollars you spend before midnight july 2nd gets you another entry closer to winning either of the trucks the black one or the silver one so take your chance while you can i keep saying this but it's very 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 crucial that you get this i can see on my store i can see just how many carts you know like people put stuff in and then they just they just kind of like, ah, just kind of decided they weren't gonna enter. I think there's like just as many or more carts of people that just decided not to enter than there are that actually entered. So I'm just saying like, there's, I mean, guys, the next giveaway hopefully is different. I don't know if it's gonna be a truck, but the next giveaway hopefully I can, we'll set it up to where I can tell you how many entries there are because I wish I could say it, but I can't. Um, but this giveaway, it's kind of like a closed giveaway in terms of the entry number. So I can't disclose that to you guys, but it's a lot less than you guys think. Like I had a guy, he's looking at my Instagram. He's like, oh dude, I don't have a chance. Look how many followers you have on Instagram. Even if half those people entered, I don't have a shot. I'm like, it's not even half. It's not even close. Like my, 
I keep saying this, but like my subscriber count, my even my view count on my daily videos, my followers on Instagram, even Facebook, like those numbers are not even relevant. Like it's not, it's not one of those insane giveaways with hundreds, thousands of entries. Like it's not even close, but that's the most I can say. I can't even give you a, a number close or like a time or like a range or anything. Oh, that's all I'm gonna say. So anyways, guys, enter while you can. I'm telling you, don't miss out on the opportunity. You might not ever have an opportunity to win a beautiful trick like that with such a low entry number. So enter while you can, link in the description or go to team-lmp.myshopify.com. Stuff's running out, it's almost closing and we're not restocking, so once it's gone, it's gone. If you don't enter and you miss out, you miss out. It's just how it is, but anyways guys, thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video, peace.